rattle and chest, which I'm not going to play. Ah, Afterburner. Yes, this is the uh, US version of Afterburner. Now, let's get one thing straight the Mega Drive version, for the uh, spec of the hardware it's running on, is not brilliant in the first place, so there's that. And where the hell is the uh, TV Sports? Alright, that goes with that one now. Yeah, I've never played TV Sports Basketball. Yeah, it is different, but it's not particularly better, if I'm honest. Alright, okay, let's just uh, leave this stuff in for a second. Did have a torch. Ah, you do a story, Koku. lined up I might zoom it out a bit actually oh, that's completely fucked up now all right no attempt at uh, 3d scaling going on and my eyes are a bit fucked today so I'm not really happy with the music Sounds like some, uh, was it Roland MT32 MIDI wank? See, it's another fucking arsehole. When they cut the sound channel for sound effects, they cut the lead instruments, not the drums in the background. Which is a really stupid move, and only a person who knows fuck all about music. I don't know how it's firing the uh, missiles to hold the fire button. Let's see if we can. Uh... Yeah, this is sort of like halfway between the uh, Sega Master System and the PC Engine. When it should be better than the PC Engine. Because you can't do the Lotus 2 game engine on the PC Engine, and that's that. Kind of thing. I'm going to get to the music to stage two, because that's the one I actually like on the arcade. So, you know, another example of, uh, I loved Afterburner in the arcade, along with uh, Outrun, and uh, even the American version, which we, we wouldn't have been able to buy back then, uh, you know, it's not that great. It's not, it's not absolutely shit. I'm not sure how you fire the missiles, that's the thing, because sometimes they're being fired, sometimes they're not. If you hold the fire button, that's not it then. Yeah, you have to do a long hold on the button. There may be an option for Auto Vulcan, which is the, uh, you know, the machine gun at the front. But I did use the place back then. Because it was better than the uh, shit that Activision released. One day I might actually find the uh, computer and video games uh, news uh, item where uh, Jess San, the prick, was saying he's got like uh, thousands and thousands of uh, objects moving smoothly on screen. Well, maybe they fucking flushed that one down the toilet accidentally. Or maybe he wiped his ass with it and it went up his arsehole because that's not what was released by Activision, mate. Right? But 
But this is the same hardware that I was playing this game on back then. Zipstick, Amiga 1000, my 1988 Pioneer Hi-Fi. Uh, not the uh, monitor though. There we go, this is the music. So this bit is a bit better. Graphic bit. Doesn't really sound like the arcade music. Uh. So it is better. But it's better to have Marv diarrhea than projectile fucking pebble dash the side of the fucking toilet bowl diarrhea, I guess. So the Activision release is 0 out of fucking 10 and this is 5 out of 10 and you wanted you know the equivalent of Lotus 2 or Shadow of the Beast 1 quality of programmers going on and you didn't get it and that was normal for the Amiga so well, let's try something else then mate eh? I don't need to put my name on such a shameful school shameful 